My name is Julie Asti. I'm a certified financial planner with Asti Financial Management, and I'm going to talk today about how to create an emergency savings plan. Um, in looking at creating an emergency fund for your household, um, the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create a working budget because what you're going to want to find out is not only the income that's coming into your household after taxes, but also the fixed and the variable expenses that you have um, in order to look at the bottom line, which is hopefully going to be a positive number so that you have some money to put aside for savings for an emergency fund. But in creating an emergency fund, a budget is important because what you're going to be looking at on an emergency fund is being able to have enough money set aside so that if something should happen to you or your partner and you weren't able to earn the income or bring income into your house via unemployment or an illness, that you would have enough in reserves to cover your expenses. So you really need to get a handle on what truly are your expenses on a monthly basis. In terms of looking at an emergency savings fund, um, there are a couple of variables that would depend on what the appropriate amount is to, to have saved up. If you have a partner and you both have steady jobs with good incomes and you've been working there for a while and you feel pretty good about your job, um, you could probably do with having three months worth of expenses saved up in emergency fund. If you're single, you're working at a new job, um, you're kind of unsure about your future, you may be looking to change jobs in the future, you probably want to have a little bit more of a cushion because you're only relying on your own income and your income in the future may not be as stable. In that case, you'd probably want to look towards trying to save six, month worth, six months worth worth of expenses um, in a savings plan. And when you're looking at an emergency fund, it should always be kept in liquid savings account. Um, you could use your checking account, but ideally a savings account is going to at least provide you with maybe 1% to 3% of interest, um, which would help it grow over time. But you want to make sure the money is liquid, it's accessible, it's totally safe, and it's going to be there when you need it. My name is Julie Asti. I'm a certified financial planner with Asti Financial Management, and you can learn more about my company or my services at www.astifinancial.com.